protesters once again on the streets of Portland demonstrating against the city's police bureau. But as you can see from Jet Ranger 2, the police presence at Everett and 13th is much greater than the number of protesters, at least for tonight. K2's Megan Kalkstein joins us live from Northwest Portland. Uh, keeping the peace so far, are they, Megan? They are, certainly so far. But just about a minute ago, Steve, we noticed that the protesters started to move from their location here at 13th and Everett. You can see them filing down the street here on Everett. They're actually going towards downtown. We're not sure where they're headed. But earlier, they started at one corner here at 13th and Everett. They sort of moved to another corner, uh, and then they went across the street where they congregated, and that's where they called for police accountability after two recent officer-involved shootings. We are not saying that as people, these police officers are bad people. What we are saying are good people in a bad system is what is killing us in these streets. Now, the group said they were voicing their concerns for the community. They spoke in the very location where police confronted James Chassie, a mentally ill man who died in their custody. Some of the protesters handed out pamphlets tonight. It explains their tactics, saying they're responding to state and police violence, that they are wearing all black to coordinate their appearance and also for their anonymity. Now, you can see right here, right now, live, the mounted team is actually leaving. They're following the protesters who just left the scene here. Again, we're not sure at this point where they're going, but uh, the important thing to mention here is that this has been a very peaceful protest. There hasn't been any damage, a very different scene than last night when the protesters actually blocked off this entire intersection here, stopping traffic. They dumped a dumpster in the middle of the street here. There was a number of garbage bags uh, thrown here in the middle of the street. So it appears that this protest has ended for the evening. We're live in Northwest Portland. Megan Cockstein, K2 News.